Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming. It's day 28, and it's 5.30 in the afternoon. And so we have Horde Night upon us. Uh, but I just spent a whole bunch of time wrenching a ton of cars and um, got a bunch of stuff that we're going to sell to traders so, so that we can get that machete um, schematic from him. Um, now, I believe I'll mention this uh, when I edit the last video, but I asked in that last video how you get gas cans. Well, you get it from wrenching cars. I completely forgot about it. Man, do we got a bunch of those. So, um, yeah, that's how you get those. Okay, so things that I'm interested in selling. Uh, I'll sell engines to him. We've already sold, I think, one engine to him. So three is the max that he'll buy, assuming that still works the same here on Ravenhurst. And let's see, motor tool parts, mm, eh, the, we could make some money off them. Well, let's sell about another half stack of those and a half stack of those. We found a, a really high quality battery for 761 and then a low quality battery. Uh, we're not really in a position at this point where we need to worry about using batteries. Uh, so I don't mind selling those right now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I'm going to sell this extra blunderbuss now that we have the pistol. And I think, uh, let's put those two things in there. We found this hubcap. We need to find air filters, though. That's what we really need to find. I don't think there's anything else in here I want to actually sell to him. We could, oh, actually, you know what? We could sell him headlights. Um, yeah, we could make a little bit of bank off of those. Let's put those back in there. And then that's all we can fit at the moment. I did get seven more pieces of steel because I took apart a couple of vending machines. So there's that, and yeah, we are like seriously encumbered. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to drop the nails and the jar. And how's our food? Let's go ahead and eat the cat food. This is used in Grandpa's learning elixir, but here again, it'll probably be a while before we can do anything with that. So I'm just going to eat those too, just to free up a couple more slots. And then we're going to toss that. Um, I guess I could have scrapped them because we have a little scrap iron in here, but whatever. Okay, let's go see if we can make enough bank here to get that machete schematic. Because this trader is going to reset um, after tonight. So uh, I want to get this now. Unfortunately, we have zombies outside busting things up. Okay, so let's sell that. We'll sell all of those. We'll sell him that one. All of the lights. And then however many engines he'll buy. Okay, yeah, he won't buy that. We'll sell all of those. And I think that, oh, and this, yeah, we were going to sell this too. Okay, I think that's everything we were going to sell to him. And that leaves us with 46.94 coin. And we want to go to here and buy the machete schematic for 3,400. Oh, beautiful. Okay, very, very good. Great doing business it's with you. Great doing Don't business you with you too. All right, look at that, guys. We can now make ourselves a machete. Woot! That is awesome. It's not going to be a super high quality one, but it, it'll be it'll be orange, which means we can repair it at least once when the time comes. Or just make another one. I don't remember how much steel this requires, uh, so let's go find out now. And then, let's see, I got all this stuff here. Uh, let's grab the steel now. Oh, that was loud. Uh, the rest of this stuff I'm just going to leave in there for the moment. Um, I don't want to get bogged down with a crap ton of inventory management right at the moment. Um, okay, so let's go over here and see what's required to make our machete. Okay, oh, nice. We can actually make a yellow one. That's because our knife skill has been going up. Okay, so we're going to need a tool head steel machete, sturdy handle leather, and duct tape. So this one, tool head, steel machete. Okay, and that's going to require 20 forged crow. Wait, what? No, that's a crow machete. I was going to say, what? Um, we need 20 steel. Okay, I think we have enough to do that. I think we have enough to do that. Yep, we do. Okay, so there's 20 steel and we have eight left over to boot. I could always go take, you know, some traffic lights or street lights apart to get more steel too if I needed to, but this will do the job for us. Okay, so let's make the tool head. Um, oh, we know how to make the steel axe and the steel shovel. You What? No, 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 no. We can make all these tool heads, but that doesn't mean we can make the actual tool itself. Okay, so let's do the steel machete, and then let's see. It also needed a sturdy handle, so let's see what that requires. That's going to be wood and leather. So uh, wood, 
Are uh, you kidding me? I think I left all the wood over at the horde base for repairs. Doggone it. Okay. Let's go grab some wood really quick. Do I even have an axe on me? I do. Let me put a couple other things away really quick just because I'm a bit encumbered here. Uh, so that can go in there. Uh, this can go in here. Um, put that in there. We want to keep the leather with us. Uh, the hubcap is a weapon item. We'll put that in there. The extra motor can go in there, and the iron can go in here. Okay, I think um, the rest of this we'll keep with us for now. Okay, let's go get some wood really quick so we can make this sturdy handle. Yeah, I took all the wood that I have over to the horde base, uh, so along with some nails and some mortar and other things like that, so we have repair materials over there. Let's just cut this tree down here. Okay, let's make the sturdy handle. And then after that, we got the machete blade and the handle. Uh, what was the other thing that we needed? Machete. Uh, three duct tape. Okay. So let's see. Let's grab some glue and some cloth. Now we're going to have to make that in here. Very few things in Ravenhurst can you make in your inventory. There we go, baby. Woot! A yellow 256 machete. That's going to be awesome, and that's going to help us kill more, you know, kill quick, more quickly with the blades. We still need to get a hunting knife to finish the quest, um, but, you know, the blade... Having a better blade will help us get there quick, more quickly is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's put uh, this back in here, and the wood can go in here. How's our food? Our food's not so great. I don't. I, I haven't had time or taken time yet to go fishing, even though we have plenty of worms. Uh, so let's see. What do we, Oh, man, if only I had one more of those, we could make some bacon and eggs. How about if we make ourselves... Uh, five boiled eggs. Assume, wait, do I have boiled water? I don't. Damn it. Why has everything got to be so hard? <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, let's boil this water then. Uh, grab some coal out of here for fuel. Oh, I guess we already have coal in there. Wait, no, I'm in the wrong thing. Why is that not running? Run. Okay, uh, so we'll put a little bit of coal in here. And make some boiled water. My caps lock key is on. Okay. What time is it? It's uh, 1947. All right, we have a little bit of time. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, we'll put that in there. And then um, we're going to make five boiled eggs for our food. We're doing fine on water. We don't need to take the rest of our money with us. We want to make sure these are on for Horde Night. So we get the extra XP bonus. And we'll keep the painkillers with us in case we need them. And the hammer for repairing. Look at that. Ooh, man, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's uh, put this away. What we've been using is 7 melee and 24 attack and 393 durability. Look at the difference with this thing. Oh, my goodness. This has almost 200% more damage uh, well, at least normal melee damage and about twice as much power attack damage. Uh, Durability is not too much different, but that's because this is a pink. Uh, that's a very nice improvement. We have to, we're going to have to find some kind of a mod to put on there. I don't. Um, this only goes on clubs. Can can be installed on clubs. Um, we can. How many mods can we put on a yellow? We only have one slot. Sometimes the cosmetic slot will actually work though too. Okay, let's grab um these. And I'm going to cancel those first, get the eggs going, and then we can continue the boiled water. Okay, so we need a total of one, about four more minutes of burn time to finish all of that. Close enough. And we'll put these in here, and then we got to get over to the horde base and get ready to go. All right, so um, we have, we don't have a ton of arrows, but... What we do have is a large amount of 
nine millimeter ammo, and I left a, a bunch of that over there. Uh, though our pistol skill re is really bad right now. <laughs> but, I mean, the only way to get it up is to... No, that's not what I meant. The only way to get the skill up is to use it, right? So we're going to have to start using it. Um, but I think between the arrows, the, the bullets, I brought an extra stack for the hunting rifle. If it really comes down to it, uh, we should have enough stuff. I'm going to bring these two. I don't know. We can't really throw them through the bars, but we might be able to find a, a use for them. The only thing I don't like about the machete is I don't like the power attack animation on it. I still, I still wish it did like the stab attack that the knife does. Ooh, that uses a little bit more stamina too. We need to start thinking about some sexy tea, you guys. In fact, that reminds me we've got some skills to spend, but we are kind of short on time. Let's get over to the horde base, and then if we have time, we'll take a look at the skills. Okay, is there anything else we need out of here? Uh, I'll figure, you know, I'll put all this crap away later. I don't think so. I think we're okay to go. All right. Let's go. All right, so everything's upgraded to steel on the bars in case we get cops. All the cobblestone has been uh, fully repaired. We repaired a little bit of concrete, and uh, so we should be okay on that. Let's finish off these eggs, get completely topped off here with those things. Uh, we're going to put, um, let's see, let's put, we got a pistol bow. Let's put the hunting rifle here, and we'll put the hammer here. Oh, 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 we got to get our, our, our sledge down. Forgot about that. This sledge actually helps a ton, so we'll just put it right in the center there. Glad I remembered to do that before uh, everything started up. So, let's take a quick look at our points here. Um, we've got... Sleepers? How can we have sleepers? I got a land claim block down. I don't know. They better not come up here. Um, all right, so we've got two points. We uh, Now that we know this use is a little more stamina, we really need to get this going. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put one point into strength. That gives us an effective level three. And then we're going to put the next point into sex, sexy teaks. I think we, we get talk. I think we're going to need that. Okay, and that gets us up. Uh, going there, we, we're just a little over one square into the next level, and let's look at this too. We have 864 kills, so we'll see how many kills we can get tonight and see if we can get up to the next level by the end of the Horde Night, if everything goes well. All right, guys, I will see you uh, in one in-game hour, and we will do Horde 28. This ought to be exciting. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's about time for Horde Night to start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break out this corner bar here and you can see that I put a frame up here so I don't accidentally fall into it and uh, I, I can use that to throw pipe bombs uh, down now we only have 12 so we don't have a lot but um, you know the idea is wait for we get a, a nice little group of Z's built up in here and then we can chuck the the pipe down bomb down in the corner it should bounce off either the fence or the wall and then kind of push it uh, more towards the center that it shouldn't do any significant damage to <coughs> our sledge uh, turret down there and um, for the three molotovs that we have we'll probably throw those from over here because we're not gonna be able to get those you know down into the holes safely uh, so we got that going on then of course we've got our shotgun we've got our pistol and our rifle and two uh, bows and so uh, tonight's count right now is 864 kills let's see if we can get a hundred zombo kills in another level uh, by the end of the evening okay let's do this
Right, it is morning, and uh, we survived the night, of course, and uh, have a few bags down there to get. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to GTFO, let these guys disappear, and then we'll come back and hopefully, you know, there will still be a few of the bags left that we can loot. And then we'll take a look at our counts and all of that too, but let's just get out of here so these guys go away. So yeah, the base held up pretty good uh, for Horde Night 28. Um, I'm probably going to do it again on uh, the next Horde Night, which would be 35. But we're going to need we're going to need to do a little more uh, beefing up in there. And I want to have um, I want to have a lot more pipe bombs too, because those pipe bombs are so effective, you know, against the Horde. So okay, let's. Uh, Go back over there. They should be gone. I think we went far enough away. Did we? I still got a spider and a fatso. I want to mess with these guys because a lot of them are feral and they're deadly fast and really tough. Let's just do this. Let's put our um, luckies on. Yeah, I don't like that stupid spider. The other two I'm not too worried about, but spider is a bit of a pain in the ass. He's probably a feral spider, which means he's going to be really tough. Hey, we might as well finish you off. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get this spider out of here. 
We did a, a couple of point blank shotgun shots to him and it didn't hardly phase him, so I think he's a feral. Either that or I'm just a really terrible shot, uh, which could be either one of those things. I do want to get back there soon though, uh, before those bags disappear. So here, let's go around this way. Okay, let's hop in here. What the hell? Get up there. And grab the bags first. Okay, some money and some bullets. More bullets. And some food and murky water. Oh, we got a bag here too. All right, some brass and a coat. I need to harvest that brass over there. Okay, let me get all these arrows picked up really quick. Um, the I used the wooden bow quite a bit, starting about half, a little over halfway, or right before halfway through the night, uh, almost for the rest of the night. Still use the shotgun a little bit too, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to shoot up all my shotgun shells. Um, and I'm I'm surprised how well the bow held up durability wise and I, I you know I, I didn't have to go to the second one considering that it's a really terrible terrible quality bow you know uh, so I was pretty pleased with how it performed uh, in that regard but you know once once these guys break these walls out it's just so hard to hit them because they're just you know they're all over the place so you know I got I, I'm sure I got most of my kills in in the very early part of the night you know when uh, when the walls were still intact and I, I could kill several of them at, at a time with the uh, with the pipe bombs. I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to also remove this corner uh, so we can throw bombs down from both corners. And I'd really like to get this fixed in because this, this is my kill corner. I kill more zombies in this corner than anywhere else because they kind of tend to get stuck in here. Uh, so we gotta, we're going to have to come across some concrete or make some concrete. Well, we should be able to make enough concrete to at least repair that. Uh, but I'm going to probably have to take a day or so in game and just really work on concrete because uh, if we could get this all upgraded to concrete then uh, i think it's gonna you know it's gonna work better because 35 i mean we got uh we got a pumpkin head uh, which is a you know very high end zombie and then we got a mummy too so you know i'm starting to see the nastier stuff and uh so yeah but my plan is, again, to try this on 35, but we, we've got to get it upgraded to concrete in there. I, I just think we really do, because if we don't, then we still could probably make it work, but the building's going to take so much damage that it could collapse or make it just too much of a pain in the butt, you know, for us to, to repair uh, after the fact. So... All right, let's get uh, let's go home and take a look at our numbers really quick. Uh, I know we got at least one level, maybe even two, actually. Now that I'm looking at my uh, my bar there. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at our numbers first. So we got uh, 1,018 kills. We started with 864. So wow, man, we. Uh, we killed about 150 Zeeks or so, um, give or take. So that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh, we are now game stage 46, and um, we got we got two points. <laughs> Look at us. We got two points. All right. We made a very good showing, guys, on Horde Night. Very good showing. Okay, so what are we going to do with these two points? Um, let's see here. So for perception, I wouldn't mind lock picking or penetrator treasure hunter hmm i don't think that really applies as far as i know it doesn't apply to the quest treasures i think we can hold off on that for a bit uh we already got our second point in sexy t um so we could put those two points in strength to get it strength up to an effective five and then we could get the third level of sexy t that's something to think about plus you know we can we could get mother load to two which would always be good um, let's look at fortitude. So we already can take another pain tolerance and another healing factor right now. And we could take another iron gut too. I'm not too really 
too um, keen on cardio right now because we have the mini bike. So I don't think that's really that important to us now. If we look at agility, uh, we are, let's see, how much, we still only have one point, so we'd have to build that up a little bit. There's nothing here that I really super want that bad. Um, we could take the second point in better barter, which I think is not a bad idea. And we, we already took the second point in advanced engineering. So yeah, I think, um, let's take better barter, uh, as our one point, And then let's go back to fortitude. And I think we're going to take, see, pain tolerance two is going to give us 10%, uh, reduce HP loss by 10% and a 20% less chance to get stunned. Whereas this is going to get, give us one health every 45 seconds in critical injuries. I mean, they're both really good. They really are. Iron Gut 2, this is going to be um, a, a reduced food and water loss from physical exertion by 10%. That's really probably the most important part of that. Uh, buffs from consumables. Yeah, okay. I think, ah, man, I, I just really like the passive healing. So I think we're going to go with Quick Healer or, yeah, with Quick Healer next. Pain tolerance is definitely at the top of the list for us. And um, we need to start working on perception in general so that we can get Lucky Looter up too. Because even just taking this one point in Lucky Looter seems to have made a, a little difference. Not a huge difference, but a little difference. Uh, all right, guys. So I think, uh, yeah, that, that's where we're at. So we're, we're doing really good. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here. And then in the next episode, we're going to get back to doing trader quests. Because we have uh, two points in Better Barter and two points in... Uh, Daring Adventurer and continue working on um, finishing the POIs in this town. Um, so that's still kind of our overriding goal. Well, our overriding goals, are, of course, are to continue work working on the quest. And the only thing that's holding us up on this one is those stupid two copy beans, which I still have not come across yet. Um, the table saw is being held up because we don't have the schematic for it. And then uh, bladed weapons being held up because we're going to have a hunting knife and rain collectors being held up because we need two car air filters and two beakers. Uh, we need to be watching the trader for those things as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.